Hey everyone, it's Brandon with Electric Marketing, and today we're going to be covering the PostScript and Klaviyo integration. Uh, this is a follow-up to uh, my first video that I did on how we set up uh, this landing page using both Klaviyo, PostScript, and Unbounce for our client, uh, MCT Co., now known as uh, New School. So we're going to cover a couple main things. One is sign-up forms in Klaviyo, how you can pass those phone numbers over to PostScript. Uh, another is how to set up a welcome flow in PostScript for those contacts who you collect via the Klaviyo form. Uh, then we're going to touch on how to do Klaviyo, Klaviyo segments based off of PostScript data. And then we'll touch on how to create a Klaviyo conditional block in your email templates. And last but not least, we'll look at how we can utilize Klaviyo lists in PostScript. So to start, first we're going to cover uh, the integration. So I'll go ahead and use uh, an old account here. It was never set up. And what you'll do is you'll navigate to integrations. You'll click on Clavio. Actually, it looks like we're set up here. Let's find one that is not. What you'll do is navigate to integrations. And then your integrations will be Clavio. So here's where you'll enter in your Clavio API key and your Clavio public API key. And then you'll go ahead and, and save that out. Um, and that's really it. All you have to do is pull those. And the way that you pull those is from your account in Clavio. You'll go to settings and then API keys. And you'll create a private API key. You can see here we created one called PostScript. That private API key, that's what you'll plug into the Clavio API key portion here. And then you have your Clavio public API key as well, which is what you see at the top here. Uh, so once you have those two, you drop them in PostScript, click Save, and you're ready to go. Now, once you go ahead and actually do that, you're going to see some lists that show up, as well as some forms. Now, these forms are all of the Klaviyo forms that we've integrated into PostScript. And these lists, when you, when you toggle Make Available in Filters, that means that we can now segment phone subscribers in PostScript if they are or are not a part of this segmentation in Klaviyo. And that's valuable because Klaviyo segmentation can get a little bit more granular, specifically as it relates to like uh, products purchased. And you can start to push email data into PostScript and like use email response as segmentation uh, criteria for your SMS sends as well. Now let's go ahead and actually take a look at the Klaviyo forms and what you need to do to set those up so that they do pass over to PostScript. So we'll go ahead here and we're going to go to sign up forms. And we'll use this test one that I created here. And what you're going to do is create a form, whatever it may be, pop up, embed it into the website or what, however you are using the Klaviyo forms functionality to capture subscribers. And what you'll do is you'll add in phone number, and then you're going to click do not collect SMS consent here. Again, click do not collect SMS consent. It seems counterintuitive, but the number actually won't pass over to PostScript if you have it where it is collecting SMS consent in Klaviyo. So you need to make sure that you choose do not collect SMS consent. You can pull this language that you need here for TCPA compliance from the PostScript website. Uh, once you change in your terms of service and privacy policy, I'll link that language below. But again, make sure it says do not collect SMS consent. Then once your form's all polished up and ready to go, you'll go ahead and take this form ID in the URL. In this case, it's TG2D capital J lowercase j. I'm going to copy and paste that, and I will go in here and add a new form where I will copy and paste those six digits right here, or six characters right here. Then click I certify TCPA compliance, and you're good to go. Now anybody who fills out that section on the form is going to pass over. As an example here on this landing page, when I enter this phone number, even though it's a Klaviyo form, it's going to pass this phone number into PostScript. So that's how you set up a sign-up form. You'll also have to set up a specific welcome flow for people who come through that keyword. And it is a little bit confusing because if you're used to doing like a mobile pop-up, like you see here, we have a call to action that text me my free sample. I'm gonna click on that 
and this would open up my messages with the opt-in language that has the keyword there. When you go through a Klaviyo form, you're technically not opting into a specific keyword, so you're missing out on having that keyword response. And so that's why we have a welcome flow for people who sign up on the form, and we have a welcome flow for people who use the keyword. Because if you're familiar with setting up keywords in PostScript, you have the opportunity and option to put a reply within the keyword. So you can see here when somebody triggers this keyword, they're automatically going to get the first message here. You don't get that for Klaviyo, so that's why you have to have, with usually with like a one minute delay, the first message, the welcome message for people signing up on the form to be a part of the automation. Where, and you can see up here, we have it denoted by the parentheses Clavio. but for our ones that say parentheses keyword subscriber, the first message is actually coming via the keyword response. And that's why you see wait one day here. And then here it's wait one minute because we want this to send immediately to people coming through that Clavio form. Now, how you actually set up the Clavio form it's relatively straightforward. You're going to select the same automation trigger that you would for any other new subscriber created. And it's going to be subscriber created via pop-up keyword or API. Now to only include users who are coming through that Clavio form, this is again where you're going to include that six digit ID that we copy and pasted from the URL. So what I go ahead and do is include that as a subscriber tag and a user filter. So that six digit ID gets passed over as a subscriber tag to PostScript. And then that allows this welcome flow to only go to those people. Now let's go into how you can actually segment your SMS subscribers within Klaviyo. So you can create a segment in Klaviyo and there's really only one property that's being passed over from PostScript to Klaviyo. And that is this accepts SMS property. It's a Boolean value, so it's either true or false. And this will allow you to segment your PostScript subscribers in Klaviyo. So you can see with this list, we have a little bit under 800,000 or a little bit under 8,000 contacts in our Klaviyo account are also opted into PostScript. So why is this actually important to know? For one, you might want to send one-time campaigns only to people who are not opted into SMS marketing. You might want to use this as a way to conditionally split your contacts in post-purchase flows communicating with you differently if you are subscribed to SMS or not so that you don't have communication overload, you have a nice seamless customer experience. Uh, another potential use case here is conditional blocks within Klaviyo, uh, which leads us into sort of the final portion of this, which is how do we create those conditional blocks within Klaviyo based off of whether or not somebody's opted into SMS marketing. So I'll go ahead and go over to this email test here. And we have that cohort over here, this EIQ opted in SMS marketing. And again, that's based off of this Boolean value here, Access, accepts SMS true. So now what a conditional block is, is this will only show or not show to a specific group that has a certain contact property based off of what we specify. So you can do different conditional blocks in Klaviyo uh, for a variety of different things, but particularly uh, off of text values, number values, date values, whether or not somebody is or is not in a list, and then also uh, Boolean values. So in this case, it's going to be a Boolean value. So we create this block and we're going to click this question mark. Now, I will drop this in the copy below, but essentially what this is doing is looking up the contact and seeing if accepts SMS is false. That's what that equals zero is here. If you wanted to look up if they do accept SMS, you would say accepts SMS equals one. And that would mean this contact is in fact subscribed to SMS marketing. The reason why we have it only showing to people who are not is because this link that they click is going to incentivize them to sign up for SMS marketing. So obviously if you're already signed up, you can't get this offer. We're not trying to push you to the SMS list because you're already there. So this is an easy conditional block that you can include as like a free header or somewhere in your footer of an email to drive some evergreen SMS list growth. Now the link that you're actually going to include here is a little bit um, special in terms of you actually create it in PostScript and it'll create a landing page on Shopify for you. And so when you're in your PostScript account, you're going to want to go to grow list and you're going to want to click this convert your email list get started 
Now you'll choose your keyword. I'm gonna choose one we've already done this for, and it will create a Shopify page for you automatically. That's important because when we send out this email, if somebody clicks this link on desktop, we need to take them to a landing page where they can enter their phone number. If somebody clicks it on mobile, it's not gonna take them to a landing page. It's just going to automatically open up their text messages with the keyword response that's needed to opt in to SMS marketing. So that way on desktop and mobile, it's a seamless user experience. And then once you go ahead and actually create that, you'll just click get the link and it'll give you this URL. And then you go ahead and add it right here. And that basically sums up the Clavio and PostScript integration. Quick recap, setting up the integration, straightforward, you come into Clavia or into PostScript, go to integrations, follow the prompts, you'll need your public API key and the private API key. Then to do the signup forms, you're gonna wanna make sure you do not collect SMS consent and you copy and paste this six digit ID into PostScript so that the phone numbers are passing over. Then you're gonna to wanna to set up a welcome flow automation utilizing subscriber tags. So you'll say subscriber tags includes and then copy and paste that six digit Clavio form ID. Then within Clavio, you can do segmentation based off of this Boolean value, accepts SMS equals true. And that will get you a opted into SMS marketing list like we have here. Where properties about someone accepts SMS is true. And then last but not least, with that data, you can create a conditional block that will only show up to people who are not subscribed to SMS marketing. And one very last thing in case anybody um, wanted to be able to use their Clavio segmentation within PostScript, just again, Clavio lists, all of these are going to pass over. So any that you wanna be able to use in PostScript, like for example, we have a 30 day highly engaged email contacts list in Clavio for this particular client that we wanna be able to use for segmentation purposes in PostScript. All you have to do is click make available and filters. And now that list is going to pass over to PostScript. And that's about it. I hope everybody found this video useful. As always, you can ask any comments or ask any questions in the comments below. Uh, and you can reach out to us at electricmarketing.com. Thanks for watching.